Hi, my name is Melissa Oliver and I'm a hard of hearing educator working in public schools. This is my first attempt at a vlog and was inspired by Ricky Pointer's No More Craptions campaign happening today. As someone who uses captions on a daily basis, they provide me access and are essential to my learning and understanding. And with the increase of technology in our schools, our teachers and students are both consuming and creating more online content than ever before. Yet that content frequently lacks captions or utilizes the frustrating auto caption feature which creates inaccurate and incomplete captions and objectionable content ranging from profanity, racial slurs, homophobic language, and other offensive language that is completely unrelated to the content and interferes with learning. So teachers, captions belong in classrooms at all levels. Please don't create an environment where some may think, oh, it's so annoying that we have to have captions because Melissa's in the room. That's not cool. As educators, we shouldn't need an IEP or a 504 plan to display captions. Make a choice. Captions benefit all learners. They provide important access to students who are deaf or hard of hearing. The dual input of the captions and audio benefit our language learners, students with auditory processing difficulties, and those students in classrooms with less than ideal audio conditions. It is such a simple step to press the closed caption button to create a more inclusive community in your classroom by displaying captions every time when using video in your class. However, I recognize that this step depends on the availability of quality, accurate captions within video media. If you create your own content online, caption it. If you're not a creator but use online media with your students, be a leader and make a commitment today to support those who are committed to accessibility and only use content that contains high quality captions. Make a choice. Set a new standard for yourself and your students. As educators, we have a tremendous influence on shaping the future. If your students are creating video content, teach them how to caption it and share with them all the reasons why captioning is so important. I recognize that there are some very real challenges with this. Schools have access to different tools. YouTube is my favorite caption creator but is blocked in many schools. There are other captioning interfaces, but their terms of service and privacy policies are restricted to people 18 and over. There's other creation tools widely used in our schools with their younger kids that do not even provide a captioning interface. These are very real challenges by teachers and kids, and that's why I'm committed to finding a viable solution with different teacher and kid-friendly workflows so that accessibility becomes part of the creation process in our schools. I absolutely love this No More Craptions campaign, and I sincerely hope we aren't still talking about this in five years because there's been a resolution. As educators, if we can model creating accessibility ourselves and help our students create accessibility in schools, I can envision a whole new generation of students creating videos, products, and designs where accessibility is integral to the creation process rather than an afterthought, creating a more inclusive environment that values and affirms all people.